I'm catching up on a lot of videos right now. So I just made a top 35 about what you do to travel. I just did a, a video about making your trip the best, making sure your excursions are the best and, and your trip is the best energy wise. Um, I might have made another video, but now I can't even remember what it is. But right now, I'm just going to say that here I am in Cairo and well, not Cairo, in Luxor. And it's beautiful. I'm up early. I got some rest. I got plenty of water. And I'm looking forward to the day and what it has for me. Yesterday, I was blessed to go to an ISIS temple that I hadn't been to not far from the the giant Memnon statues, not far from Hatshepsut Temple and not far from the Valley of the Kings. And I'm um, staying over here in Luxor, across the water in a quiet neighborhood. It's very peaceful. And today I expect to go to, I think it's the Minya Temple. If it's the wrong temple, I'll correct that later, but I was able to set my trip and my intentions of my trip at the ISIS temple yesterday and to focus on what it is I'm supposed to receive. You know, I'm a big believer that you should have your goals, you know, where you want your life to go, what direction you are choosing in life. And that takes making steps. So you make the plan, but it takes making steps. And then allowing source creator to step in and prove that you are that chosen being, that you are blessed by helping you to succeed. In the meantime, though, you must be flexible and be able to pivot and welcome the changes and the unfolding and the revelation of the trips because you have a plan for yourself, but you can only see this much through the door and you're allowed to see that much. Why? Because if you knew the vastness that came with the plan, you might be too afraid to go through the door. But if anything, you want something new for your life, you have to prove it by actually making steps. Don't use money as a deterrent or friends or other people's expectations as a deterrent for you to not complete the actions that, that, that it takes that, to fulfill the things that you're dreaming about. Connect with your dream, connect with your vision and make actual steps to make it happen. And you will see the unfolding, you will see doors opening, paths cleared, obstacles removed. And then you will also see your plans magnified. You'll see that the creator wants great things for you, that you are truly living in a world where you can create the life that you want. The only thing limiting you is your imagination and your own faith in yourself. And sometimes you have to borrow that faith from others, but better yet, borrow it from source with the creator God mind behind you, around you, beneath you, above you, surrounding you and filling you, the creator God mind, the infinite intelligence, you do all things through this energy. Nothing that you do is actually completely left to you. That lifts a great burden from you. You don't always have to think of the details, every single detail on how these things are gonna happen. You employ the God mind, the infinite intelligence to do this for you and that the problems that arise you ask the creator to move you above the frequency of their problems, to move you above the frequency of the things that block you into the frequency that allows yourself to receive from the creator directly. 
and you you just can't beat it. I can't explain it any more or beat it into you anymore because just even say for this trip, I did not have the money for this trip, but I had planned from the day that I left here that I was going to make sure that I go on this trip and it was not looking possible. And before this trip, I already had a trip to Illinois planned. I didn't, I didn't have the means to do both. I didn't have the means to do, especially to, to come here. And the door opened up in April, two months before the trip, boom, that the finances just came through and I was able to easily go on the trip. But I had also spoken into existence. I had shared my trip plans with others. I had already been calculating where, where I was going to go. Um, I created a group just based on here to share my travels. So I had already put myself on the hook for this. And then doors open, obstacles cleared, um, path, obstacles removed, path cleared, nothing standing in my way. And here I am six months later. I'm not sneezing at the hotel restaurant, even though sometimes I look at the prices and I'm like, mm. I don't like that, but source takes care of me. My guides take care of me. I am blessed and I'm creating a life that I desire, right? And what comes behind this, the changes, I'm actually just looking forward to seeing the unfolding. Even in Illinois, when I was, you know, talking to people like Daniel, Seda, and, and uh, Mark, or no, Matthew, different people, just not bragging, but just sharing a little bit about my trip. And people would ask me like, who do you channel? Or what is your plan? Or what are you? And I didn't have this big magnanimous answer of who I am or what I am because every day I'm unfolding the possibilities of who and what I can become. And I'm not putting myself inside of a box to say this is who I am or what I am because I am an instrument, a vessel, and the greater, um, the greater infinite intelligence, I'm open to it as it flows through me to take me places and to allow me to become, to do miraculous things. So I'm just open for the miracles. I don't have to make these big claims, but... I just encourage people to connect with that, to not be afraid and to put it out there. What are your ideas on what you would like to try? And don't use money as they say, if money was no obstacle, but what if or money was no object, but really what people do is put money first as an obstacle and use it to say, oh, I would do this, but I don't have money. Money is not even real, right? That is an exchange of energy, but it's, it's, a, it's a concept. It's an energy. Energy flows, right? What you're actually saying is that your problem or money is bigger than God. God works through all, that's it. God works through all, right? All money, all matter, all spirituality. Everything you see around you is a part of the all. Source is the creator of all. So of course, if money is also a part of creation, don't you know that the God power within you is greater than money? Like it's actually rolling through my head right now. The God power within you is the God power around you. It's the power that created the pyramids. It's the power that creates cars. It's the power that creates electricity and internet. The all is in charge of all. So if you connect with the all, then you have power over all things, literally. So I think that's something that it takes time to roll through your mind. 
That means I'm greater than all things. I'm greater than money. I'm greater than a roadblock. I'm greater than all. So allow yourself to connect to the greater infinite intelligence. Ask for the greater infinite intelligence to lift you and your vibration above your problems. Increase your vibration above your problems, above your wants, needs, and desires, that everything is available to you. You deserve everything good. You deserve everything beautiful. You deserve, what can I say? You deserve, you deserve the best. So start asking for the best. Start looking forward to the best. Start doing the best, but allow the source creator energy to flow through you, to surprise you. You do not use your energy. All things are moving through the all and the all moves through you. Connect to that. There is no separation. There is no separation between you and the infinite intelligence. You got it. So go in there, meditate, um, imagine, dream, do vision boards, connect with the vision, visualize the things that you want. Not just visualize them, but feel them. How does it feel to have the mate that you want? How does it feel to have the travel that you want? How does it feel to have the home you want? You know, we think that poverty connects us to God and that's not true. Source created all the beautiful things for you to enjoy. The planet belongs to you. It's your turn to go out there and connect. You should put your foot on every part of this creation. That's why you're here. You're here to not allow, you know, the news and all these things to deter you from connecting to this planet. You're here as a leader, an ambassador. And as you begin to conquer your fears and conquer your blocks you become an example for others and you lead the way so that others can do the same if if there's any job that you have it is to be an example to others that they can walk run and fly okay there's no reason for you to be stagnant in your life it's all at your fingertips and source is the key So I won't beat it in your head anymore. I'll stop there, but have a great day. This is my thoughts for my first adventure of the day.